from Dragging the Line. I'm Jesse One More Sanchez, and joining me now on Zoom, Domingo McKnight. Welcome to the show. What up, man? Appreciate you. Good. I know before the show started, you just moved down here in Austin, right? Yep. I live in like North Austin, like right under Round Rock. Okay. How you liking it? Man, shoot, if you ain't out here, and you, this is the place to be, man, for real, for real. Yeah, I, I, I born and raised here, but it's getting bigger, though. It's popping over here. Oh, so, yeah, man, I'm excited to have you on the show, and uh, before we get into some questions, let the viewers know a little bit about how long you've been oh, in the game. Recently, I just started, man, about six months ago when I moved out here. Okay. I've been told my whole whole life, man, you funny. I was in the Army for seven years at the age of 19, and uh, everybody was like, man, why are you cracking jokes? My mom started getting mad. She was like, you better start cracking them shits on stage. <laughs> you gotta get paid somehow. I'm gonna huh? start getting mad at you. So I was like, all right. Then I've been in the scene for about five months. Now I'm starting to travel more to get my name out there. I ain't trying to be a lab, you know, a local ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? Now, are you going at it full time? Now I am, you know, I'm starting to dive into the scenery, like uh, the depths of, you know, how comedy has started. How do I get a five minute set? How do I, um, you know, if I screw up, how do I keep it going? You know, how do I keep the crowd entertained? You know, so yeah, I'm, I'm going in uh, uh, kind of heavy now that I'm out of school and stuff like that, so. Got you, man. If you don't mind, walk us through that, like, since you know you just started like you mentioned like when you go in do you get like butterflies or did your heart start racing bro you know if it wasn't for mary jane boy, i'd be having anxiety attacks on that <laughs> all right now the material do you write it on your own how do you come uh, up with the material i come up with the material due to mary jane you know what i'm saying I, I have my flash cards so i'll just be driving and i'll i'll be like i'll find a topic and i'm like oh shit i can make this funny for instance like the birds those uh scooters and stuff oh yeah they look shit to be downtown Yes, I made a joke about hitting a bird, you know, and everybody was like, what the hell? And I brought up Randy Johnson and he made the bird disappear. And I was like, I did the same thing, but I was going about 40 miles an hour. The baseball player, right, Arizona? You know what I'm saying? Just put stuff together, man, while I'm driving, I'll write it down real quick and see if I can make it into a joke. So it's all just off the dome, really. Now, do you got to hustle yourself and get your name out there? Or do you have people like help you out? Like both. Word of mouth. Uh, both. Of course, you have to grind on your own, you know what I'm saying? You, you can't do it. You know what I'm saying? Unless you go out and go get it. So it's, I'll do it. But I also got some cool ass people out here in Texas, man, that, that have uh, given me the opportunity to go do an open mic. Give me the motivation to go up on stage because they tell me like, hey, bro, you're funny. Just go up and do it. You know, shout out to my boy Junebug that gave me my first shot. You know what I'm saying? On the, out there in Colleen. Okay. Um, at a coffee shop and he's the one that pretty much told me man it's cutthroat people are gonna steal your jokes people are gonna be out there doing you know what i'm saying to get they hustle on too so it's yeah. also you, you gotta watch who you're with but for the most part man they out here they help they people are helping helpful and motivational too bro i don't know what it is about texas but it's just a good ass place to be for entertainment period yeah that's true man um well, since you've been in the game, you haven't ran into any hecklers or anybody trying to out voice you? Oh, you have? Okay. Man, I had this dude. It was probably my third time, bro. And it was probably my best time on stage at the moment. Because I was like, man, I finally knocked it out. It was my third time. I felt comfortable. And this dude pushed the end on my stream, bro, on my phone. But that was my first one. I had to press him up real quick. So I don't think, I think everybody's like. They had to get, they had, they had to get scared after that. Yeah, yeah. man. They, and everything but i seen them again and i'm like i started to get the feel like people do it to be funny but i gotta remember you know where i'm at it is because people do it on purpose just to get a reaction as far as hecklers i try to like let them do their thing too so it's part of the game right part of the game if you can't if you don't want to play you know what i'm saying now i have a question i i think i've interviewed a couple of comedians and with everything being so sensitive when you think of mr potato head dr seuss and all that shit is it hard for you to come up with jokes or, or do you just say fuck it i'm gonna be myself when i'm doing it i, I tend to be myself for the most part because when i tend to do i guess political jokes it's hard for me to do it, man, because people are, are judgmental. People are, you know what I'm saying? It depends how you go at it. As far as Dr. Seuss, man, how y'all going to do to the, you know what I'm saying? He's the OG of rap. Mr. He's Potato Head, same thing. I'm like, Mr. Clean, bro. That's, a long, that's all I'm going to say, man. Yeah. Slowpoke Rodriguez. Hell uh, yeah, because Beep Beep going to get his ass too, shit. Exactly. With the dynamite. Man, it's crazy, man. <laughs> Just to look at all that. And it's nice. And it's our childhood, bro. It's like our childhood is ruining our adulthood now. Yeah, I think people just need to fucking stay at home, and, and if they don't like the the shit, because people are gonna say it, and shit is funny, man. Yeah, people yeah. are joking about some dark shit, racial shit. Like it's crazy. It's crazy. Now, do you use a lot of your material, like how you grew up? 
Yeah, I use all my um, material, probably from my cousins that are in and out of prison. Tend to go to family is really the go-to. Now, growing up, who was your, like, who did you look up to? What comedy specials? Dave Chappelle, definitely, bro. For sure. Eddie Murphy, Martin Lawrence, Jamie Foxx, The Waynes. That's like uh, me growing up. Like, that's my era right there. Tell me a little bit about Juno. I'm a rep for them, man. It's, I do that as my hobby is I play slow pitch softball. Yeah, I saw you cranking them out. I was like, damn. Yeah, I got to do it to them too. Forget those bases. <laughs> do you play out here? Or yeah. You play that? I'll definitely invite you to our, our tournaments and you can actually see it. That's where my my comedian really comes out. You know what I'm saying? And shit. I'm at the hire you dog. You know what I'm saying? I need you to holler, follow me and shit. Day of the life. Do you have any up and coming gigs right now? Yeah, I got one coming up actually this Wednesday. It's like an open mic. Uh, comedy hip hop jam. Okay. I've been seeing these posts online. They got the ATX comedy a Facebook page and the Dallas Fort Worth and stuff. And I just watch and see if people post things because I'm, I'm new. So I try to, I see people going five times a night, bro, like going to gigs. And I finally hit up somebody and they reached back and they're like, here you go. So cool. I'll be out there in Carlton, Texas this Wednesday night. What about here in town? Is there anything in the next couple of weeks? I'm going to definitely uh, look into it and, and I'll definitely put out posts on my page and then I'll give you a shout out if I do. But I I definitely am hitting the, the San Marco, San Antonio scene ASAP, for real. Tell us a little bit about the comedian you met here. You got any good funny stories, that the guy you hung out with? Oh, man, Steve Trevino, man. Hey, honestly, before before I met him, the highlight of my like career so far would have been when I went twice on the stage on an open mic. I put my name something else on the sheet. Something else? Yeah, I put, I put these nuts. And you went up stage? Because the lady was like, who the fuck? These nuts? <laughs> and I ran up on stage and everybody was like, oh, this motherfucker. She was confused as shit. Yeah, Man. but they was mad too because it was like, oh, this motherfucker trying to get extra time. But I didn't see it as that. I saw it as Just fucking the, around. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was a, she was, it was a female hosting uh, Masia. Masia. I don't know if you, you probably know yeah. she's been in Dallas a little bit. But uh, Steve though, yo, man, like. I made him like, he was like, yo, this dude is crazy. So mm -hmm. I go in the bathroom, I'm getting drunk and I go and I, I grab the towel in there and I fucking go out there and I say, hey, hey, excuse me, excuse me. And I'm backstage and shit. Hey, is, is this Steve Trevino's towel? And they're like, yeah. I said, hell yeah, I finished. So this motherfucker on eBay right now. Everybody's like, oh, yeah. Hey man, but before we let you go, where can the listeners find you? Man, they can they can just follow me on my Facebook and Instagram is Domingo McKnight. I don't have a YouTube page yet, but that's coming up soon. Um, they're going to be able to see my softball and um, I'm going to start posting up uh, little skits and my little uh, open mics and, uh, and shows and stuff like that. But Domingo McKnight for Facebook and Instagram right now. Cool. Okay. So here we go, man. So before I let you go i'm gonna put you on the spot quick questions quick answers all right all right if you weren't a comedian what job would you do be my lady's pet at the house taking out the trash <laughs> she gonna be like hell no nah. what's yeah. your what's your most memorable moment in your career so far man probably that one when i did the two for one on the open mic. <laughs> the these nuts off stage do you crack jokes 24 7 or do you gotta get serious sometimes hell no nah. bro if there's 25 hours in a day it'd be bad bro i crack jokes <laughs> all day and, and then it's just fuck it now g given the opportunity what would be a place that you would want to record your special russia russia hell yeah what? just because my nigga elon musk is over there for a reason <laughs> was there anything like quickly that you, uh, i didn't ask that you want the listeners to know shit now they know don't they gotta know now was there anything they gotta know something now you good shoot man that shit that i, I love to party man I, I love to get down and go clubbing and dancing too you know what i'm saying i think it's back to normal yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, in Texas is starting to open up. So, I, hey, if y'all invite me to a party, I don't even got a joke, man. We can have a good time, you know what I'm saying? Drink, chick back. Cool, man. Again, welcome to Austin. We're going to bring you back, man. And again, if I have connections that you see, just let me know. I right. appreciate it, man. Hey, I love to make people's job easier because I ain't got one. All right, brother. We'll catch up, man. I'll... All right, my man. You have a good night, right. man.